Challenge Rift 241 looks like a barbarian. Clicking on the soul mirror will reveal everything that we need to know. So it doesn't look like a full six piece set bonus barbarian this week. It looks like LON. Not LOD, but good old Legacy of Nightmares ring. So the rings work very, very, very similar to the LOD gem. But the LED gem, I think, is better because you get all your bonuses from the gem itself and then you can choose different rings to have equipped. So you get that awesome buff. Plus, you can get two additional rings with their own legendary stats. But anyway, while this is your only set item bonus, which means you can still have set items equipped, which this Barbarian does, but while it's the only set item bonus, you can see there, three other ones, while it's the only set item bonus, it increases the damage dealt by 750 and reduces your damage taken by 4%. What I love about the LOD gem is it, what is it, doubles the effect of the actual stats if you have ancient items. So it's a bit more hard to gear up with the LOD, but it is a bit more uh, damage output and I think you do benefit from more damage reduction as well. But anyway, it's LON. So the skills that we're using this week, Cleave, Bash, Rend, Leap, Call of the Ancients, and Hammer of the Ancients. So no um, speed or furious charging here to make us move a bit quicker throughout the rift. What I do, because we have not the Shard of Hate, the Lut Socks, of course. Leap can cast up to three times within two seconds before the cooldown begins. So you get three leaps in a row. So this is what I use for mobility and for a bit of movement speed increasing. All right, so you can leap three times, move through the map, position yourself. If you're looking to get an awesome time, it's the only way you can basically increase your movement speed. So leap towards your uh, uh, the enemies that you want to kill. If it's an elite pack, I would probably use Call of the Ancients. Otherwise, Cleave or Bash will do the job and kill everything in front of you. I like Cleave, but you can use Bash as well. I think Cleave can hit some more enemies in the area. I also like to use Rend. So as I'm cleaving, I'll Rend. I'll let off a Rend, especially if it's an elite pack. Rend. And keep on cleaving. That's pretty much all you have to do. If you want to down an elite quicker, you can also use your Hammer of the Ancients here. But it's a bit of a funny build. Cleave will just do the job. Cleave and rend, and you'll keep on moving, believe me. You won't be stuck on an elite hammering into him and um, not seeing the health bar go down. The health will go down rather easy. You can use Bash. I like Cleave and rend. Of course, call out the Ancients if it's available and it's an elite pack, otherwise save it. And you've got Hammer of the Ancients if you want to burn some extra fury as well. And that's pretty much it. Nice and easy. You can select what skill you want to go um, to go through this rift. Cleave does the job. Bash also does the job. I don't think any of them do either either or neither do more damage than the other. But just don't forget to also rent. Rent seems to do nice damage too. One, two. Three, and don't forget to leap. But of course, if you just run on in, cleave everything and rend everything, if you want to keep it nice and basic, that will get you through the rift as well. Rend, and just keep on moving. Alright, one thing to talk about it. Let's go and do this one together. Good morning, everybody. See? Nice and easy. That was cleave. A leap pack. Wow, elite. So I'll rend. Rend and cleave, that's it. Done. Oh, watch out for the poppers. It's super easy this week. I don't think anyone can possibly fail. If you know how to run forward and press two buttons, then you're going to get this. Just keep on moving forward. Use your cleave and rend enemies. So number one, and... Uh, Left action, mouse button. And collect those juicy orbs that drop when you kill the elites, and you're good to go. All night long, all night. We've got the shield pile on here now, so now you definitely cannot die. Collect those juicy orbs, keep them going. Nice and easy. No rush. Slow and steady wins the race. So last week was a bit more challenging. I enjoy the challenging ones. 
Because if it's really basic and everything goes down so easy and the time is easier to beat, then it's just way too easy. But that's because I'm just used to playing every class in the game. I know the mechanics. So now with the Condi, same sort of thing. Just run through. What I do with Trash is I just rend as I, as I run past them. Just to down them, make sure that they die. Even elites. You can just stand there with the Condi and um, rend them and just watch them die. I did uh, let off a couple of cleaves there though. And we keep on moving. Keep on moving. So, make a note to yourself. If you do use leap, you've got two seconds to use leap again so you can use it three times in a row. And that also works even if you've gone through a door like I just did. So as you teleport or go progress to the next floor, you, you still get to keep leap. You don't lose it. As long as you do it within two seconds of each other. There's my juicy purple orbs. And as you can see, we're pulling ahead of the time. Power pile on there, not like we need it. But it's going to be nice now. We're going to kill everything even easier. How can you not go into this nice, big, juicy, girthy pack? Go in and kill everything and keep on moving. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Caves. Alright, so this should be the last elite that we kill, I think. Maybe. I oh, know. We need maybe one more. Or at least some big trash. But hopefully we can come across the, the Rift Guardian while we still have the power pylon. Not that it's going to be an issue anyway, honestly. Here we go. Definitely going to pop now. I can't stand in those explosions, even though I don't think they'd kill me. Here we go. Nice and easy this week. Hamlin, rest in pieces. What do we get? 3.37. What time did you all get?